It's never easy when you lose one of your best players one month before the playoffs. But the Polar Bears, they've rallied around each other and they believe they can make a run to the Resh. I'd go to war with this team. I mean, I trust them 100%. So like, I think we still have a very great shot at going to the Resh. AC Clothier knew he had a great team on his hands when taking over for Celeste Ratka when she stepped down as the Hortonville head coach after last season. That had some definite influence on why I, why I even applied for the job. And I want those expectations. I want that high pressure. Otherwise, you know, it just isn't, isn't as fun. Um, you know, obviously she did a really, really good job with her, her five years here, won a lot of games. And so I just want to continue to maintain that, if not even continue to build the program um, from, from where it was. Despite being one of the top teams in the state, they're an awfully young one, set up for success in the long run. That's a testament to, to the, the culture of this program with the youth club. And then again, these athletes who um, on a daily basis are, are building excitement for the program and are, are do a great job in our youth and attending practices, inviting in our youth camps and all that stuff. At the forefront of that youth movement, Rainey Wilson, a number one rated sophomore in Wisconsin, according to PrepGirlsHoops.com. You know, for only being a sophomore, uh, she has put our team on our back in a lot of different ways. Sometimes it's defensively, sometimes it's offensively. And I, and I don't care who you are when, when you got to go toe to toe with, uh, you know, Nina's Ali Zabel. Um, and, and do the best you can, and, and she has been. But they have another player who is just as special, junior Callie Pepler. Unfortunately, she tore her ACL back on January 20th against Kimberly, but everyone is doing their part to fill her shoes. Everybody's just been trying to contribute a little bit more each and every day. Um, you'll see people on the court just get one more rebound, get one more assist, get a couple more points. Pepler recently committed to UW-Milwaukee to join her sister Cammie, who is a freshman for the Panthers right now. I think it was definitely the best choice, but even before I tore my ACL, I was definitely like narrowing down my decisions. And it just came, like that was the place for me. And I've missed playing with my sister these past this past year, so I'm super excited to do it again. And she has all the confidence in the world that this team can make a run in the playoffs without her. I think we can go super far. As long as we continue to play together, I think we'll be really good. And the Polar Bears earned a three seed in the Division I playoffs. They'll host 14 seed Oshkosh North Friday night at 7. Reporting for NBC 26, I'm John Miller.